Now, let me go back here. Let's just show you one more time. So look at this. We have a perfect circle, perfect triangle, perfect square. Now, this S Pen is simply full of features. Tap on magnify. I can actually magnify the screen, as you can see. Okay, let's learn about everything. Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video we are going to be talking about every single S Pen feature on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, which now has full S Pen support. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys a full range of tips and tricks that pertain to the S Pen. So if you buy the S Pen, you are able to maximize your ownership. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now I do want to let you know real quick, I'm using the official Samsung silicon case cover with the S Pen included on the side over here. So if you want to link to this case, I'll drop a link down below. It just makes it easy to have your uh, phone and S Pen on the go with yourself at all times. So I'll drop a link to buy this case down below. So the S Pen has three different capabilities and we're going to break each one of these categories down to its minutest detail. Now, I do want to let you know the very first category is this button right here. When you hover the S Pen over the screen, you don't have to touch the screen. When you hover the S Pen over the screen and you press the button, it brings up the actual Air Command menu. Now this Air Command menu is fully customizable, but that's the first dimension of the S Pen. The other thing of the S Pen is when you go to the settings and when you go down over to the advanced features, okay, and then when you go into the S Pen, as long as this is enabled, you want to make sure this is enabled. When you go inside here, you have a bunch of settings here to customize your S Pen. Now this menu is going to be the second dimension of the S Pen. And then finally, the S Pen allows you to control your device. You can actually navigate your phone using the S Pen, no problem, as you can see, which is absolutely fantastic. And of course, you are able to sketch and write. And of course, with the S Pen, if you have the skill and the patience, you can sit down here and you can draw a masterpiece with precision, as you can see. This is all done with the S Pen. So let's dive in and start off with the very first thing I want to talk about. Let's go to the settings, okay? Let's go to advanced features. Let's go to the S Pen and let's start to configure and look at some of the features of the S Pen inside this menu. So the first one is screen off memo. So let me show you what that exactly does. So if your phone is turned off, just the screen is off, and let's say you're outside, maybe you're at a meeting and you want to jot down a quick note. All you do is you press the button here, okay? You click it and you tap on the screen and that's going to allow you to take a quick memo on the go as you can see, okay? You can change the color of the actual pen. So I can do white, I can do uh, yellow, or I can do uh, green, whatever you please. And of course you can change the uh, pen size over from here and you can use the actual eraser. Once you're done, you save the note and that note gets saved into your Samsung Notes application. So when I go to my Samsung Notes application, okay, let's uh, pull this up. That quick memo that I took is gonna be right here. So it's a great way to jot down notes on the go real quick without having to actually log into your phone. So that's number one, that's the screen of memo. Now the other thing, the next thing here is create notes with the pen button. Now this is the, a similar concept to the screen of memo, but you can do it anywhere on the screen when the phone is actually on. So this time what you do is you press the button and you double tap on the screen, it brings up a quick note. You can jot down notes right from here. So that is absolutely fantastic. Great for taking notes real quick. Now, sometimes when you exit this, when you press the home button and you exit this, you are gonna see it's gonna minimize, minimize itself right over here. You can put this anywhere that you want. Click on it to continue taking notes. That's the beauty. So you take a note down, you go out, maybe you're reading an article, you wanna take some more notes regarding that article, you pull this up again, you add to your notes, okay, just like this. You also go down and add even more, and then you can exit again, it's gonna get minimized, but if you do want to get rid of this note, you just grab it, 
and you drag it down to where it says remove and now it is in fact gone. But again, to access that note, you can go back into the Samsung Notes application. Now if I go back over here uh, to the S Pen menu, now we have this thing known as the Air View option. Now this is actually pretty fantastic. Uh, once you enable this, what you can do is you can hover your S Pen over certain applications and it's gonna give you some preview information. So for example, let me show you an example. Let me go to my calendar, okay, calendar application. I'm gonna launch the calendar application. I'm not gonna to touch the screen, I'm just gonna hover over the screen. And as I hover it, you'll see that it's gonna give me a quick preview of what's happening for that particular date that I'm actually hovering on. So for example, on this over here on the 17th, I have all these entries, but if I come over here, you know, I have the uh, entries for this one right here. So you can hover over items to get a quick preview. Now this is gonna work in a bunch of applications. So if I were to launch my gallery application, look at this, if I hover over the image, it's going to expand the image, I can take a look at it, and I can even hover over the buttons. I can delete this photo or share this photo just with the S Pen without even touching the screen. The next thing I can do, if there's a video, I can hover over the video and I'll get a preview of that video playing. I'm not touching the screen right now. So that is in fact the air view option, all right? So let's move on and talk about the show pointer when hovering. Now this guy right here, you can turn this on or off. Now if you turn it on, when you bring the S Pen close to the screen, you are gonna see a little pointer that hovers right where the tip of the S Pen is before actually touching the screen. So if you don't want that pointer, you can turn this off. I don't personally like it, but some people like to have it anyway. So if you turn this on, you are gonna see that little pointer hovering on the screen. So let me turn it off for this video. Now let's go down, okay? We have the air command options right here. I'm gonna come back to these. These options are in fact related to this menu right here, the air command menu. I'm gonna come right back to that. Let's quickly look at the remaining option. This is the one that says sound. Now if you disable the sound, when I go over, okay, let me just bring up a note real quick. And when I write something down, I'm not gonna get feedback, sound feedback as I'm writing on it. But if I have that option enabled, if I have this option enabled, as I write on my note, the phone actually makes a sound that emulates a pencil writing on a piece of paper. Okay, so that's all gonna be up to you. It's just a customization feature. Some people like it, uh, some people don't care about it, okay? So those are the few settings that you use to actually customize your S Pen to your liking. That's the first dimension. Let's move on and now talk about the Air Command menu. First and foremost, take a look over here. When I bring the S Pen close to the screen, a little thing pops up right here, that black bar. I can even grab it and put it anywhere, anywhere I want. This is the same thing. I can either click on it, which is gonna bring up the Air Command menu, or I can press the button and it's gonna bring up the Air Command menu. So in my opinion, if you don't want this, you can turn that off so it doesn't distract you on the screen. I can always just press this button and it can bring up the Air Command menu so I think you do not need the floating icon. And this one right here, basically if you turn this off and then you press the button, it is not gonna bring up the Air Command menu. So essentially, you can turn off the Air Command menu if you don't want it. Well, I'm gonna keep it because it's pretty awesome. So now I can press this and it's gonna bring this up. Now let me show you how to customize this. So to customize the Air Command menu and change the shortcuts right over here. All you do, you can either click plus right here, or if you go outside, you can go to shortcuts. So pressing that shortcuts or uh, pressing this button right here at the bottom is the same thing. That's gonna allow you to customize the air command menu. Now all the menu options that you wanna see are gonna be right here. Let me delete them all and start fresh so you can understand what I'm talking about. So real quick, I'm gonna scroll down and I'm just gonna add a quick application. That's a calculator application. Now when I press this button right here, all that's gonna show up is that calculator because that's what I just did. Again, let's click on plus. We only have the calculator. Now, you can go down here 
you can add any app that you want that you use a lot to this air command menu as a shortcut. So for example, I can go to the uh, Best Buy application, I can go to Adobe Acrobat application, and when I go out, if I press this, now I have quick, quick access to three applications that I can instantly access by pressing this button. But the big thing here is, let me just delete these for a second, is this top part right here. These are S Pen specific features that are pretty amazing. So let's add a couple of these over here to the shortcut. I'm gonna add the ones that are cool. So Create Note is a good one. Smart Select is a great one. Screen Write is a great one. I'm gonna show you exactly what they do. Live Messages, Translate, Magnify, Glance, and that's basically all you need. Let's also add the right on the calendar option, okay? Now, let's see what they do one by one because they do have some amazing functionality. So let's bring this up. First, you click on this, it just creates a note. You can start writing and then you save that. I showed that to you before, no big deal, okay? Number two, if I press this and if I say Smart Select, I can select any portion of the screen and I, I have a menu at the bottom. I can select square or circle and then I can select the screen just like this to take a screenshot of anything that I want. I can be on a web page, I can be reading an article. If I just want to take a screenshot a specific way, I can do it just like this. Then I save the screenshot and it then goes into my gallery application under screenshots as you can see. So that is fantastic. So Smart Select is pretty amazing. Now one more thing you can do with Smart Select is if you select any area on the screen that has any text in it, okay, let's just show an example, you can extract the text from that little screenshot. So if I tap on extract text, look at that, finance was extracted from that photo. So that's a great feature as well. Now let's move on and talk about the screen right option. Now this one is very simple. You tap it, it takes a quick screenshot, and then you can take notes on that screenshot real quick, okay? For example, let's say you want to show something to your buddy. You take a quick screenshot, you take some notes, and then you go down here. You can save this, okay? Or you can just tap on share and share this photo with your buddies, with your coworkers, whoever you want. If I press this one again, now I have the live messages option. This is a little bit playful option. So let's go inside. Once, once you launch it for the very first time, it's gonna ask you some questions. Just choose the ones that you want. Okay, let's just allow, I would just allow everything. So basically, here's what live messages are. You have the option to pick from a preset, uh, from the gallery, uh, from the camera, or from a color. So let's just do the color. So what I can do is I can pick a background color, okay, and then I can start drawing. Once you click start drawing, it records what you're writing down. And then, you can go back and you can replay that. Look at that. It gives you nice, beautiful effects. Now, the good thing is uh, you can actually change the pen and have all these various effects. So let's uh, pick this one, for example. Okay, I'm just going to pick this one as an example. Change the color right over here. Okay, so let's do one more. So I'm going to go like this, like this, create a heart or whatever. You know, you can do whatever you want. If I play it, look at what happens. So that's a live message you can create with your S Pen. And of course, the point is, once you're done, you click on done. It saves that live message. As you can see, it's great if you want to celebrate somebody's uh, birthday and you want to personalize that. So look at that. Once you save it, we got a share button at the bottom and you can share this with anybody that you want. Fantastic. All right. Now let's move on and talk about the next feature. What we have here is a translate feature. This is pretty amazing. So let me show you what it does. So here we have some text. I'm gonna bring that up one more time. I'm gonna tap on translate, okay? Once you tap on translate, first you choose the source language. So I'm gonna translate from English, uh, and then I wanna go over here. There's a menu on the top now. It just appears, as you can see. You can move this around. So I'm gonna translate from English. So I'm gonna translate from English to, let's say, Armenian, just an example. Now, when I hover over any word, it takes that word and gives me the translation to the second language, the target language. Let's go for French so you can see again, you can do anything. So according, look at that, it transforms, uh, translates to French. You, you can also translate paragraphs. So if I tap on this item here, 
it says T, tap it, now it's a paragraph, look at this. It translated the entire paragraph that I'm hovering on. It's almost like magic. Now once you're done, you can exit out, you're good to go. Let's move on to the next tactic. So press the button, we have the magnify option. Now the magnify option, basically again, it once you click it, it brings you a menu, okay? What you can do is anywhere you hover, it's gonna magnify the screen, all right? And I can change the magnification ratio by tapping this button. Let's do 300. So look at the, it's even bigger now. That is just great. Now when I'm done, I can X this out as well, okay? So if you wanna magnify anything on your screen, that's the option you wanna choose. Now we have the glance option. Let's tap on it. Let's see how this is. It says, cannot use glance, open an app first. So let's open an application. Now, what is glance? Let's tap it. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna tap on glance. So it took that window and put it to the side at the bottom here. I can hover the S Pen over and just glance at it. So maybe I'm taking a note right over here and I wanna glance at an article. I glance at it, I let the S Pen go. I don't even touch the screen, I just hover. Let the S Pen go, that goes down and I can start writing, uh, taking notes by looking or glancing at the article, okay? Once you're done, you just grab it and remove it, uh, just like this. Now let's click the button, let's see what we have at the bottom. We have the right on calendar option. So if I have my calendar here, okay, I can actually write on my calendar, look at that. So I can mark certain dates as important or whatever, I can zoom in and make precise adjustments to a given date. Some people just like to do it this way, it feels like real paper, calendar and you're taking notes on it with a pen important important not a special day stuff like that then you save this once you save that and you go to your calendar application right here it actually shows you the way you have it marked and even here you can click the pen icon and continue marking the calendar I can save it just like that this is just fantastic now if you want to erase anything on the on the calendar you press and hold the button and just erase like this. So you can clear, clear up your calendar if you so desire. And then save it again and you're good to go. But the starting point can be right here in the air command menu, right over here. All right, so that brings us to the end of the actual air command menu. Now let's move on and talk about the final feature of the S Pen, which is very simple. It is something you can use to navigate the phone. Look at this, you can navigate the phone, but the biggest thing is, uh, the Samsung Notes application is going to be your best friend here. So this is going to be pre-installed. So you're going to launch it. And then let's just create a brand new note. And then you can start sketching, writing, whatever you want in the actual Samsung Notes application. At the bottom, you're able to pick a bunch of different pencils or pens. It's all up to you. You can change the size. You can change the color. And you can take notes. Okay. And again, you can zoom into these things and take precise notes. And also, if you're an artist, you can draw stuff. Or if you just wanna highlight stuff, you can highlight stuff. Look at this. We even have a little highlighter in here uh, with different sizes, different colors. Let's just go with orange, okay? So I can actually import a document and highlight the document. I can import PDF documents. I also have these options. If I swipe over, look at this. I have the shapes. So if I click on this button, if I draw a triangle, it makes it, turns it into a perfect triangle, okay? You have to press that button. Now, let me go back here. Let's just show you one more time. So look at this. We have a perfect circle, perfect triangle, perfect square. But that's one of the most used features of the S Pen. Uh, go to Samsung Notes, learn how to use it, sketch, write, draw, do whatever you want. If you have the patience for it, you can even create a masterpiece on your Galaxy S21 Ultra with the S Pen accessory. All right, so if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?